Oh, here we go. Monday, December 4th, 2023. How it goes down. I took a nap after that morning looking at some uh, paint. I found some old paint at the house that I had. I'm like, oh, I could probably take back this ceiling paint and this uh, primer that I got. Nonetheless, that's because it was time to prime, sand and prime. Not fully time, but I was ready to do something else. So the ceiling wasn't done, but I wanted to hit the walls. I wanted to see what the paint was gonna look like. So I started off priming. Uh, nice and heavy. The primer turned out good. The old primer I had, I bought me a little mixer, mixed the shit out of it. It was good to go. I ain't hit that butt joint yet, so I had to wait. Here go the mixer. I got one that fits in the hole. So that's some primer and some ceiling paint that I had sitting in the basement for a couple years. <clears throat> I'm glad because I under budget. I ain't no paint cost that damn much now. So I wiped this down because I'm taking it back nice and clean. It's full. I ain't opened it. Same thing. So I'm able to take back the kilts primer and the bare ceiling paint. I got me some Valspar ceiling paint and some Valspar PVA primer. Then I have to go over to the basement job, finish up painting the last section over here. I did the front half. Well, the main part is like three times this size. All these damn pipes. I end up, uh, I got some plastic this time. I had plastic first time on the flow. It's dry fall, but somebody made a comment and said I need at least 10 feet. So I ended up putting plastic down this time. They're getting the floors done over, but you know. First time spraying a basement ceiling, it's tedious to sell because you got to get inside each joist, them little cross members, and the damn pipes. I end up tearing the ceiling down, demo the ceiling, added the six inch can lights. And it's looking good in the neighborhood. They're getting the walls painted. Then back over to project number two. Sand the ceiling. I have to leave the butt joints undone. And then I left one of the taper joints because I only hit it once. I'm realizing I'm gonna have to hit it twice. And then clean out my paint bucket. Found me some stuff. I can take some things back. I bought me another 18 inch roller. Not the sleeve, the roller. Oh, and I bought these little cheap ass red sanding. Hand sanders, and I found my good ones. So I wiped them down, taking them back to Blue Dolphin. No, Dolphin Fin. I went in there, I was like, what's the most common gray you got? Dolphin Fin it is. Paint around my butt joints, because I still ain't hit them yet. I just want to see what the paint gonna look like. Like I said, I'm a little unorthodox, but since I'll be working by myself, I'll be wanting to do different stuff. So I'm not finna sand the whole second flow at one time. Do a little sanding, a little priming, a little painting. You know, it all get done. Then over to the kitchen job. Both of these jobs I was about to get fired on, but I had to reschedule them because they didn't push into other projects that I had deposits on. And it was a bunch of change orders and additional work orders in this kitchen. The rehab, I underestimated. The second flow, this one, that I'm back over to. All day, baby, ask me how many hours I work. I don't count, I just work, 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 work. I end up hitting the inside corners with the, by hand, cause I'm still working with this bazooka. It's tight, the bathroom is tight anyway. You really can't get it in there, you know. And so, yeah. And the day around 11.50, Oh, 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 let's go. I have to come down here to the hospital. Northwestern. Because they got a 24 hour Panera. It's on here somewhere. It better be there it is. Power. 24 hour Panera. My spot. The hospital. You see it? Log me in. Huh.